Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jax on the channel of the Jackster, and we are in the Broke Rock SMP. This is season six, and this is episode 15. Yes, so we're back over here uh, to Kai and I space, and uh, I've just grabbed some materials, just cleaning things up. But I want to show you some things I've been working on in between. Get up here. Uh, okay, good. It's not dark. Um, so yeah, I took down a little bit more sand of what he done. He done. 99.99% of this. I just cleaned up this so it's a little bit lower and kind of matched up what he done. Uh, went ahead and got rid of uh, the bottom bars here and put in the uh, basalt around. Uh, it seems like these guys still get very close. Uh, the seeds still can pop out, so not really sure what to do. The grass is on the inside of that, so it's not like it's underneath the basalt. So it's kind of weird that it, it happens that way, but uh, I'm going to leave it like this. I think this is good enough and uh, I'm happy with it. So uh, over here also behind uh, all these three walls, I've replaced the salt. I got a couple recommendations. One was a checkerboard, but I think with the iron bars, it looks pretty good. It looks kind of get a little bit of a checkerboard uh, finish, but it, I think it looks polished enough. It looks, looks like it's meant to be that way anyway. So uh, let's go down and take a look at our farm down there, the bamboo and uh, Sugarcane Farm, which I've been working on seems like forever, but I don't know if I just took damage. It sounded like I did, but uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> so I've done something for a clock down here a little bit different. You see, I've got a railroad system going on. Uh, so if we turn this on, that's my main power off. It comes around over here, uh, it uses this rail to, and, and sends a signal out, and it takes off. The fly machine takes off, and it got stuck. I don't know why it got stuck. That's kind of weird. But let's see if we can, if I can see. I had it working for, I don't know, two, three hours, and it was no problem, so, uh, the other day. But anyway, the rail system should it might have been because of the height it had grown up. I, I don't think so, but it, it could be that. So when it comes up back here, you'll see what happens. Uh, we get that same signal like we had on our previous system. And it powers that rail just enough to get it over here to the next section where it takes off and does that side. As we can watch here. And while that's running, that's a detector rail. So it detects when the minecart comes up to it. And then we go back around. Detector rail sends a signal into it to take the uh, flying machine off again. Uh, then there's, this is an unpowered rail, so it stops it. The machine takes off, does its cycle. And this is normally how it would work. I mean, uh, I did go ahead and put uh, some hoppers down here. So with this minecart hopper, it can pick stuff up that most of the stuff will be knocked around to. The only place it doesn't do it is right here. It doesn't pick it up. Um, this sometimes will, will have that issue right there where to go ahead and come back around. That doesn't happen too often. And when it does, that's going to happen. So I'm going to see if I can push it back up over here real quick. And that, that I should take it back over here. And then. We'll send it back over here. So that gets it basically back set to where it should be. I messed it up again. Okay. Let's see if we can shoot it back. That's okay. We'll let it get back over. It kind of resets the cycle. 
Uh, if it does mess up, that's one thing I can do. But like I said, I had it running for a couple hours and no problem. I wanted to do something different. There is another timer that I, I was working on. It probably would be better than this one, but I was using my cart hoppers too, or in rails. Uh, it's kind of off of a timer that Fonzie uh, showed me a long time ago with a, uh, a mine cart, a piston, and uh, watch it go around here, and a uh, web, spider web. Worked pretty cool, and I was going to use that on another farm, probably like a melon farm, but that's what I'd use it on a previous uh, season of Brook Rock. And we're just kind of testing this right now is all I'm doing. Watching it with you guys. Uh, so anyway, uh, testing that uh, with the that clock that Fonzie had showed me. He said it wasn't his uh, clock or timer. It was another guy's, I think maybe Tiger 77, but it's been over five years, I think, four or five years. So I don't remember who it was. And unfortunately, I didn't write it down. I might have it in a video though, so I can go back and check that, I guess. Uh, looks like everything's working good right here. Like I said, I can come over here and turn the system off by right here. And when it comes back, you'll see it pick up that sugar cane. That's one of the reasons the rails are placed where they are, is to pick up stuff that, that gets uh, sent back. The only place it doesn't do it is right here in this white. You can kind of see where I marked it, where items drop sometimes. So uh, most of the other places that items come back here to, uh, the Minecraft Harper will pick it up. And like I said, it drops them off. And there's my, there's hoppers. You can see them down underneath here. They're underneath the uh, carpet here too. Let's see. Going to go into it. Yeah. But yeah, there it went down there. So we can go down and grab it out. Give those back there. So I, like I said, I started uh, last episode. I was over there working on the new area. Uh, then I came back over here to grab some materials, and I seen there's a few things I just need to clean up around the base that I hadn't done. Uh, this is one of the things it's been on my mind, and I kind of been working on the side. Uh, in a in a creative world, just with some timers and things, and I, I like this setup. Um, I have to have this up here on the rail like this where it goes down uh, because if you when you power a powered rail like this if it's not up like this in an elevated slope to go down or not flat against a solid surface it won't work um, so it kind of makes it harder to make it work if you don't have it set up in that in that way uh, there the other timer that I was working on would do a flat surface to kick it off and like I said, I may do that too, just do a different iteration of of, of this setup. But uh, it, it'll fit in here too, probably. Probably had to put it against this back wall. But anyway, a lot of rambling going on. Uh, basically, like I said, I just want to show you a couple of things that I've been working on. Um, a couple of other things, but nothing really major. So if you guys like this, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you want to see the other setup that uh, I was thinking about doing, let me know. And I might even do the one with the melon setup that I'd done in a previous timer. We'll do that. I may just do that like in a different video, not a broke rock video, though. We, we could take this copy of this world and I could show you, though, with that kind of stuff. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. It's just a really short episode. Uh, just wanted to get you caught up in what I was doing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.